This show is brought to you by Millennium Tree Stands, Extreme Archery Products, and Ramcat Broadheads. Welcome to Rally Hunt Club. In this webisode, we're talking about uh, some trail camera pictures of a buck that was shot in the leg. We have about a month's worth of pictures, and it's interesting uh, as to what happens to him as this um, wound gets worse and worse. So stay tuned, and let's talk about this. <laughs> As I said in the intro, we're going to talk about a buck that was shot in the leg and some of the trail camera pictures. But before we do that, let's go back to this three-legged buck. Um, we had a three-legged buck on the club for about three or four years that we were getting pictures of, and we could never see him. And you actually can go back to this webisode that I'm showing on the screen. I'm also going to show you some video of him and see how this amazing deer lived. Matter of fact, um, I argue that he might be one of the best trophies ever taken off the club for the fact that he lived to be eight and a half years old with three legs. And we don't know what happened. He just showed up with a nub. I actually tried to shoot this deer one time. And he kept moving, chasing a doe in and out of the food plot so fast. I couldn't get a shot at it. So go back and watch that webisode if you want to. But it's very interesting footage of how resilient these animals are. Okay, back, back on November 26th, we first noticed this deer had a bum left leg. And as you can see in the picture... He's a real good two and a half year old nine point that we had. Real good looking young up and comer. But as you see in the pictures, it looks like he took a hole right here in that leg. Okay, so really disappointed about that. Well, you know, immediately we decided that we were going to try to shoot this deer just to get him out of his misery, right? Even though I showed you a while ago that a three legged deer can live um, for a long time, you know, and he can chase does for ruts and do all that kind of stuff but um you know worried about this deer fighting off infection they just can't get a shot of um penicillin so i'm flipping through these pictures and this is november 26 now and of course he's coming to the feeders and any kind of corn pile he can now <clears throat> let me show you some more that's why i'm showing you these today okay now this is the 29th and as it's a daytime picture and you can see the legs starting to swell up a little bit. There you can see, it looks like you can see the back, the pass through of the hole. And you can see how he's hanging it. Now, if that leg would, you know, actually he's fighting over that pile of bait for that. And you see how he's holding it high. High, real pretty deer. Really disappointed that he, that he um, you know, that he's wounded like that. Now, here's one um, we have November 18th. We, and we went a little while and didn't get any pictures. Here you can see how it's really starting to swell up. It looks like it's starting to cut through. Okay. And now for the most recent pictures, which is um, the 22nd. And actually, you, can, you notice something about him. He dropped his antlers. The stress of the wound made him drop his antlers. Sometime between the 19th of December and the 20, uh, excuse me, the 17th of December and the 22nd. And he's starting to really favor i mean really favor you see how it's really you know really um inflamed and swollen but still he he still he still wants that um corn or that corn starch right there so as you can see he's still running around chasing limping and all that and um First, we didn't quite notice that he that was the deer. We were just flipping through the pictures. But then you can even see him tie up when he doesn't have the antlers. Now, this is a sad, sad story because the season is over with now, and I'm bringing in this video, and we never saw this deer in daylight again. So, um, and the 22nd of December was the last photos we got, and today is the 16th of January. So don't quite know what happened to him. 
but he don't look like he's in that bad of shape compared to what he was when he first let me get that picture right there when he first got the um let me show you a comparison when he first got injured his body weight does has gone down a little bit but he's but it still looks like he's doing pretty good so anyway um thought i'd bring this to you rally hunt club it really stinks we really wanted to shoot this deer and get him out but i don't you know i don't know if he's in misery or what but he's still getting around he's still feeling active but he's doing what he he's doing what he needs to do um one thing about white-tailed deer they're very resilient it's amazing how tough they are so anyway um just thought i'd show you we'll catch up with this deer if he's still around um come may and um we'll see if he's still going and we'll report back if he's there who knows we might have another uh three-legged legend like the other one so anyway um thanks for watching rally hunt club um go to youtube and like us um subscribe to us on facebook and also youtube leave us your comments and um stay tuned we're, we're winding down season two and we've got a couple more videos coming to you. So thanks for watching Reality Hunt Club. If you like this show, check out our other shows at hunt365.tv.